In this video, we'll be finding the area of composite shapes. When we're looking at finding the area of shapes, composite shapes, our best strategy is to break the shape into smaller pieces that we know the formula for the area of. For example, the shape that I have in front of you is made up of a triangle, a rectangle, and another triangle. Together, we don't have a formula to quickly find the area of this shape. But when I break it apart into three different shapes, I can use my formulas for areas of triangles and areas of rectangles to find three separate areas and then I can add them all together. So the area of the first shape being a triangle would have an equation of base times height divided by two or base times height over two. The base of this triangle is 12 units. The height is 16 I multiply those two numbers together and divide by 2. So 12 times 16 divided by 2 gives me an area of 96 units squared. The second shape is a rectangle. The area of a rectangle is length times width. My length in this case is 24 centimeters, 24 units. The width is 16. 24 times 16 is 384 units squared. The third shape is a th another triangle. Again, base times height divided by 2. The base of this triangle is 4 units. The height, again, is 16. Divide that by 2. And I get an area of 32 units squared. So I found the three areas individually to find the total area which I'll call AT. I need to take area 1, add it to area 2, and add it to area 3. So adding these three areas together, 96 plus 384 plus 32, I get 512 units squared. In the first problem, we found the area of our shape by breaking the shape into smaller shapes that we could find the area of. And then we took those areas and we added them together. And that works sometimes, but sometimes we can't add, sometimes we have to subtract. So if I look at this problem, find the area of this shape, I can see that I have a rectangle that has a half circle cut out of it. So my total area would be the area of the rectangle minus the area of the half circle. If you look on your formula sheet, the area of a circle is equal to pi times the radius squared. In this question, the radius will be 2.1 units divided by 2, or 1.05 units. 
So filling in the details, my rectangle would have an area of length times width. Subtracting the area of the half circle, which is pi r squared divided by 2. Length is 5.2. Width is 2.1. And I'm subtracting pi times 1.05 squared, all divided by 2. And I get 10.92 minus the area of the half circle, which is 1.73 units. 10.92 minus 1.73 is 9.19 units squared. And lastly, here's a challenge problem. Try to find the area of this shape on your own and bring your solution to class tomorrow. So find the area of this teardrop shape and bring your solution to class tomorrow.